This video is brought to you by Jobber, but more on them later. The word no is in the top three of the most common words used in the English language. Like it's the third most popular word used. Like it's used more times than all of the other words. I didn't do any research and I don't know if that's exactly true, but it sure does seem like it. You know, being in sales and selling services, like my paint business, and if you do sales, then you know we get a lot of no's. Like probably 10 no's to every yes. And a no is negative, right? But why is it one of the top three words in the English language? And I'm gonna tell you why right now. Again, I haven't done any research on this, but I'm gonna tell you what I think and I'm gonna tell you how to turn a negative no to a positive yes. Real simple way, because when I hear a no, I see an opportunity, and I'm gonna explain to you guys what that opportunity is and how to turn a no into a yes. But first, I wanna explain why this works, and I think the reason why it works is because no is the most common word that we hear. From the ages of zero to probably the ages of 18, we hear no the most out of all of the words. Now, I know my first word as a baby was no. Now, yours might have been mom and yours might have been dad. But I'm telling you, as a baby, when we're growing up, we get told no a lot. And it carries on into adulthood. So it's really easy for us to say no instead of yes. It almost is harder to say the word yes to something because we're so conditioned to saying the word no that it just flows out really easily. And knowing this is half the battle. The second half of the battle is learning how to frame a question in a way that when you get a no as an answer, it's actually yes to what you were really looking for. And I'm not gonna waste your time, I'm actually gonna tell you right away. The way that I like to do it, and this actually generates more jobs for me and actually generates a lot more reviews for me, and this is why I wanna share it with you because I don't think that I've ever made a video on this topic and it's really such a simple thing to use every day, not just in work or sales, just in life. So I'm gonna tell you, what I do when I go to a job site and I give them my estimate, I present the estimate to them, I always give my estimates out to the prospective customer before I leave on that initial estimate. If we set up a meeting day, I'm making sure they get an estimate that day before I leave. So one of my strategies is I go up to them, I present the estimate to them. After I do my whole thing, my whole estimate, I got a whole process, a 10 step process. And once I do the estimate, I ask them one simple question. I say, hey, Sally, based on your experience today, is there any reason that you would choose not to go with us for this project? And like I said, the word no is very easy to say. So if they say no to that question, that means yes. That means yes, there is no reason why I wouldn't choose you for my project. Now, this is amazing and it really works wonderfully. Another thing you could do as at the end of the job, you say, hey, Sally, based on your experience with me doing this project for you, is there any reason why you wouldn't give me a five star review today? And they're going to say no. You say, oh, that's great. If there's no reason for you not to do that. Would you mind doing that right now? I really appreciate it. It helps other people find me and help find a great service provider for them. And this works, I'm telling you. I apply this throughout my whole entire life. Any time that I want a yes and I could frame it in a way to where the word no actually is a yes to what I'm searching for, I do it and it works all the time and this is gonna be a quick video because I don't want to take too much time but it's great and, and, and using this is really just uh, it's like a level up right you almost kind of feel like you're cheating a little bit so I'm not gonna keep you guys here too much longer um, if you guys like this video put no in the comment section because it's the easiest word to say in the English language because we've been conditioned to do the word no since birth so before you guys go though, I want to mention this video was sponsored by Jobber. I'd like to thank Jobber and you guys for watching this video. Um, Jobber is a CRM software that I use to build all my estimates and propose them to the customers. Um, you're able to add pictures. It works from a desktop. It works from your phone. I really love this app. I've been using this app for over a year now to run my painting business and it's great for scheduling. It helps me with around tax time. It helps me keep track of all my costs and the job costs. It allows me to set preset line items. So when I go to a job, you know, a lot of jobs are very similar. So it makes the process really quick, not to mention that it makes you look very professional and it really sets you apart from all the other painters out there that are just given like a, like a regular old paper invoice. Um, I send in all my estimates with pictures attached. It's really great. My customers actually compliment me on my estimates and they always say that the other guy just gave me a price through text. The other guy just gave me a piece of paper with the price handwritten on it. So that's why I like to use Jobber. Jobber has a lot of great features and if you guys are interested in using it, uh, click the top link in the description below for a special offer. And without further ado, subscribe if you like videos like this. 
uh, don't if you don't like videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one peace